next phase. So that is uh, building the base of the ship. I'm sure I don't have all the right terms. Hull, I guess. I've gone out and purchased two books. The Ship Model Builder's Assistant by Charles Davis and Ship Modeling Simplified by Frank Mastini. I will do much better on terms starting in uh, Ship Build Part 5. So all of these parts are numbered. I normally start towards the center of the ship. This happens to be number 9. Match up the 9. I put the numbers on the same side. And on this particular one, these do fit in pretty good. They're snug. And you just take it all the way down and minimally either be, well, you really should be exactly even because you're going to have the deck of the ship rest on this. So I'm going to back this one up a little bit. So that's what you want to be is level. Sometimes you never know what might come in handy. This was a, um, a little weighted hammer to remove watch pins but it's come in very handy. Sometimes I need to tap this down just a little more to make it level. I've gotten most of these in place. I have a couple more to do, but I haven't tapped them down. And also, I failed to mention it would have been better to sand off the, the nubs from the plaque that these were on before you put them on. So I've already sanded those off. Now I've got some I need to tap down in place. I'm not going to glue any of this yet because I may need some motion here in these. You know, I may need to shift these around just a little bit. I'll explain that when I attach the deck. There are a couple pieces. These are not identified where they go, but actually they go towards the bow. And what I've done is sanded that off, so eventually I'll glue that in the right spot. These are each marked S1 on the uh, plaque that holds all of these. Okay, so that will be glued there. And then same thing on these two rear parts. Uh, they're marked 16 and they go here to the back and they'll be glued in. There's a couple of cutouts for them. Okay, when I get all positioned properly then I'll glue these on. But I probably won't do that until I get the deck on because again I may need some motion. I may need need to be able to move things around a little bit. These edges here break very easily. Now after you get the deck on you can re-glue them from the inside uh, but try to be careful. So that'll be next. Now that you have all these in place and they're level and you've sanded off the little notches this is kind of a critical part. This is difficult to get in here without snapping these off. So just take your time. I've tried different things. I've started from the back I've started from the side, tried from the front because this little notch here, there's a notch that fits in the front. So just take your time and go slowly and you just have to keep checking and make sure everything's matching up. Otherwise you will snap them off. able to get the decking in place. First time I didn't break any of these off. So a little super glue in a couple of spots. And I'm using the gel type and it gives me a little bit longer before it sets up. So I can take about 30 seconds or so. And then I'll just gently I'll just gently push this down and hold. I have the deck secured. The other thing that I did is only because I've broken these in the past, 
on the inward side I put a little drop of super glue where each one of those posts is at. Next, this will be mounted on the side and this has to be curved to the bow. So I will take and I will put this in a couple paper towels and get the paper towels soaking wet and a cup of water and put the cup of water and the wet paper towels in the microwave and run it about 30 seconds or so. Just get this real warm and steamy, hot and steamy, and that'll soften that up some. Okay, here it is with the sides glued on in place. And one piece I failed to mention, and it's part fif piece 15, and it's uh, on the instructions, it it's where it's a view of the entire ship like this, and it's showing where um, several parts go with this back plate. And you need to put that on at the same time or just prior to these so that you can fit them around it. And this piece has uh, two notches cut out for it to fit right on those two braces there. So next we'll be planking and those I also steam. You can also get them wet. And uh, what I did this last time I forgot to mention, I also put them inside a plastic bag and then I just get it, you know, pretty hot and then I let it sit for a few minutes. And it just makes it so that uh, this can bend without breaking or cracking. <laughs> 